Welcome to the Financial Feast Podcast. I'm Kevin. And I'm Zach. And today we're going to be talking about post-retirement. So you've made it. You've handed your resignation in, whatever the case may be. You're now retired. Woo! Yeah, celebrate. <laughs> Congratulations. Celebrate. Yes. So what now? What do we do? What do we, what do we have to think about? What is, what's going on in our life now? Now that we've decided, okay, uh, we're, we're done. We're not going to work anymore. We don't have to work anymore. Maybe we still want to. Correct. We don't yeah. have to work Correct. Anymore. There's nothing wrong with still working in retirement. My grandfather just turned 80 years old in October, and he still has a part-time job. <laughs> Good for him. Because he doesn't want to sit still. There's yeah. nothing wrong with that. No, absolutely. So things you want to be thinking about, the some of the stuff we've already kind of mentioned in episode three, but... What is our cash withdrawal every month? What does that look like? Are we okay? Social security, are, did we retire early and we don't have it yet? Or did we retire in time that lined up with when you can get social security? What does that look like? Are we set there making sure that everything's good to go? Yeah. And then, you know, that part-time job or maybe volunteering even. You don't need the money, but you just want to kind of work or help out or do a little something. Yeah, because maybe you've now been retired for six months or a year, and you've chatted with your financial professional, your advisor, and you've now actively seen what that retirement lifestyle looks like put into practice, maybe you need to now up that cash withdrawal. And yeah. maybe you need to have more because you want to do additional things. Or maybe you don't need as much money and you can allocate that money to something else. These are, you know, these are things to kind of think through. I think in this same regard, which we actually haven't even thought about or we haven't talked about yet, but it just came to my mind right now is people can also invest in retirement when they're retired. Yes. Right? Absolutely. And can. I don't think people think about that. Yeah. And generally you do safer investments, right? Something that is considered less risky. However, if you're diversified enough, maybe you can afford to be a little more risky if you have money in other places. But yes, you can still invest. You can still be in a portion of the market into more of safer things. Yeah, because people think, right, when I, th I think there might be a little bit of a misconception on what that retirement income is when you're retired. It's not like you retire on Monday and then on Tuesday you've saved over your last 35 years of working. You've saved $3 million. Now you have $3 million cash sitting in your bank account right. that you can now access. That's yeah, not that's, what retirement no, no. <laughs> income is for most people. Yes. Most so, people do a draw. So yeah, they'll so, do like 50 a year, 60 a year, and they'll parcel that in a month and then they'll take out of it and let the other amount of their money still gain money with interest in another area. There's many different ways to do that. A good financial planner or financial coach can help you with that. But definitely don't just withdraw all your money and put it in a savings account. That's yeah, the wrong thing to do there. For sure. So in addition to retirement lifestyle and that and that cash withdrawal and the Social Security and the, and the potential part-time job, another thing to think through is the estate plan or the will. And hopefully... You've you've done this right before you retired, mm -hmm. um, but maybe you want to change it. Maybe you want to update it. Maybe you're now starting to have grandkids and you want to include them. This is something that you definitely want to make sure you're thinking through. Yes, because it could be a real pain depending on what you may have. The courts could drag it out. It could be family issues, all that stuff that you can avoid just by doing a simple will that doesn't actually take that long to do. Well, and the thing that... It, you said it can be a pain. It's not typically a pain for the person who's retired right. because they are now dead. Yes. They are <laughs> it's no a pain for their family. Yes. So And they're grieving and all yeah, that grieving on top of it. With, yeah, so spouse. Yes. Yes. So you, you, if you can avoid all of that with just sitting down for a little bit of time and getting that done, it's worth it. Another thing that you want to think about is... The debt situation that you did decide to retire with. Did you decide to retire with debt? If so, is that okay? Where's that at? Have you planned for that appropriately? Yeah, do you have a payment plan to deal with that? Right. And are you still taking on debt? These are things to consider. 
whether it's a house payment or some loans that you might have retired with. Yeah. And uh, you could have planned for that. Let's, I mean, because maybe you don't want to outrightly purchase a brand new car, right, in retirement. Maybe you're planning on having a lease mm -hmm. because you don't want to have to deal with the maintenance. And a lease is a great option for doing that. That's technically debt because you are paying monthly fees and you don't own it. Yes. But maybe you have that planned into your into your budget. That's okay. Just making sure you have a plan for that house payment or those different loans that you have, whatever that may be. Right. And the bigger thing that we kind of talked about earlier in another podcast where we talked about the medical, a little bit on episode three, but making sure that your Medicaid, Medicare is all set up. Also, if you have any life insurance still, is that still there? What's that look like? Making sure that you're set there. But just making sure that depending on the age you are, you might not be eligible for Medicare or Medicaid yet. But just making sure that if you aren't there, that you're aware of what it is, when the ages are, that you're able to do that. And if you are eligible, making sure you take advantage of that as well. Yeah, for sure. The other thing to think about long-term care, and this is something that's becoming very big the last four to 10 years. The average cost right now for long-term care monthly is about $8,000. Well now, and the other thing about that is you said that's in Ohio, right? Yes, that's in the state of Ohio. Depending on the state you're in, it varies. So, and it could be significantly it more expensive in It can be up to 12000 or a month. California. Yep, absolutely. And it can be as low as six to six thousand five hundred. So about eight thousand is kind of the average. And that's a month. That is a, a month. Yeah, yes. every single month. So that's every single month. Eighty thousand plus a yes. year. Yes, <laughs> that's a lot. Yes. and something to definitely be thinking about planning for that, making sure you have a plan for that. There is a lot that goes into that. We'll probably talk about that in another later episode. But yeah. just be aware that that's something to be thinking about post retirement hopefully going into retirement, but that you've already kind of thought about that. But if you haven't, now's the time. And then the number one thing to really do when you're in post-retirement is to enjoy retirement. Yeah. Have fun. Do the things that you've worked so hard to do. You have all these goals set out. Travel, eat out, Yeah, go visit things. Go visit yeah. the grandkids. Go. Yeah. Learn how to knit. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Do what you love. Watch all the basketball games you couldn't watch before because you had to work, whatever the case may be. Yeah, man. I mean... I'm sure there's a lot of things that we all want to do right now oh, yes. that we can't. And now's the time to do it. So enjoy yourself. Yes. And this concludes our kind of our mini series we did on retirement. So just to kind of recap of what we talked about, episode one, a little bit of an introduction, and then we went into the misconceptions and why retire when to retire, how to retire. And then this one, we finish off with some post-retirement thoughts and some planning, what to think about. So we do hope you enjoyed this mini series that we put together. We're going to be doing more episodes that come out every week. And we'll talk a lot more in depth on specific topics now. We'll probably get more into the nitty gritty of things. We'll get a little deeper, kind of go through the weeds Hopefully you'll join us along the way and we really just enjoy doing this. Yeah. Yeah. We're having a lot of fun. I think it's, I think it's good for us to think through these things. We found in conversations that we've had with clients and friends and family members in how we're, we're just, you know, Hey, we're talking about a financial podcast and we're going through this thing. Is this what we're doing? We've had them come up and talk to us about different things and scenarios mm -hmm. that we've had the opportunity now to kind of chat with them and think through. So this has been beneficial already for us. And we're really excited to kind of see where it goes and the kind of reach that we can have and the help that we can provide to a number of people. Yes, that's why we're doing it. Yeah, so if you have specific questions that you'd like answered, email us. If you have our number, text us, I guess, or, <laughs> or reach out to us in person. Uh, but but let us know what, what the questions are that you have. And we'd love to do a specific episode a specific uh, you know uh, podcast episode on on that specific question and how how everybody can maybe learn from that question because maybe somebody else has that same 
situation, but they haven't really gotten to the point where they're thinking about those things. Mm -hmm. And maybe you have a question that's very personal right now with, with how the economy is. And there's something that you're dealing with as a family that you really would like a, a, an answer on, and we can maybe give that and help other people out. Yeah. Some possible topics that we might be thinking of would be inflation. It's a big one. What even is that? Why is it affecting everybody? How does it affect everybody? I might dive deeper into that. Yeah. What's up with the housing market? Why is everything right, right. so bad? What's up with the economy? Why, you know, yes. like there's just so many things right now that a lot of people have financial questions about that affect you on a day in and day out basis, whether you're actively thinking about it or not. So we really want to kind of hit all those. Yes. Yeah, so we hope you join us on more episodes to come. And we thank you for listening. And as always, go on the financialfeastpod.com, see the articles and posts that we posted up there that kind of go in depth a little bit more of what we've been talking about. Ask us questions on that. And we'll see you next time. <laughs>